Peppa Pig, would you like to be my friend? <sighs> Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. And who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City! Peppa is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Peppa. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Peppa? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur! It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. If you keep walking, you can meet Peppa. My friend Peppa Pig. A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting. <laughs> Oh, goody, you're here. Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. My room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy. We're playing with the toys in my basket. <gasps> I think George would like to play with you, too. Impossible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. Ooh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it. Do you want to help? Excellent. I have just the task for you. Why don't you sit here and mix this bowl for me? Well done. You're a great mixer. We're going to make a lovely salad with these vegetables. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <sighs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> would you mind turning it back on so I can read? Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Bummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Pepper? Why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! Daddy, Daddy, we found them! We found the glasses! Have you? That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur? Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! Finding things? Whoa! What a 
is sports day? Sports day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children, start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! Finished! Oh, congratulations! You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. Splendid! I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. Madam Gazelle, Madam Gazelle! Tiddles the tortoise is stuck in the tree! Oh no, poor Tiddles! We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles! We're going to get you down in no time! Oh, impossible! It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Here it is. This is the ladder Madame Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again! Oh, Tiddles! <laughs> <laughs> Good job! Now Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur? 
I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. Mmm, this ice cream <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> More, please. <laughs> I like being a queen. <laughs> I'm sure you would make a great Queen Pepper. <laughs> Look, George! It's an enormous dinosaur! Dinosaur! Oh, yes, George. It's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur! Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> What's this? Ah, welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We are about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right, then. Does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one. The Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth. We also have Venus. Mars. What's that? Neptune. Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the Internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! The forest! Hello there. You two seem to be having loads of fun together. Ah, there you are. Hee <laughs> hee. 
visit my granny and grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. <laughs> granny and grandpa's house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden. Granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty. She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? Hello, Mrs. Chicken. What are you doing here? Good to see you, Peppa. Ah, I see you've brought a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all, Peppa. Can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? <laughs> Excellent. Only two more chickens left. That was the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Yeah, Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting seeds so that new plants will grow in the garden. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, pick one of the plants in the garden and grab a seed from it. Any plant? Yes, Peppa. Whichever you prefer. But I don't know which one to pick. I know. Why don't you help me pick? Help Pepper and Grandpa grow a new plant in the garden. Go to one of the plants and pick. First, make a little hole. Now put the seed in. Cover it with earth and water it. Fantastic! Now a new plant will grow here. Will it take a long time, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Plants grow very slowly. Make sure to come back every once in a while to see how much the plant has grown. Good job. You have planted a new seed in Grandpa's garden. Make sure to come back here every once in a while to see the plants grow. Hello, children. Polly, here's your food. It will give you energy to do more jumping and chirping. Ah, it's very good. The beach. We 
we have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. Look! I have found something very shiny! It's a coin! Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates! I found a crab in the rock! Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh no, don't be a naughty crab. <gasps> a seashell! And it's a really big one. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa. Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches. Mummy, Daddy, you're here! Are you enjoying your time with Granny and Grandpa Pig? <laughs> That's great. Now how about we find a spot on the sand to sit down? This place seems like a nice spot. Wait a minute. You can't go in like this. Oh, all right. Ah, there you are. to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! 
No, George. I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived with Peppa and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We're very far away from them. Oh! Today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. 
I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Pepper's house. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. your tents and we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire we'll do it madame gazelle we'll collect the sticks madame gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire follow pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire sticks 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 good one to collect lots of sticks oh excellent job now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Get around, children! Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. Forest. 
What a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Here's the basket. It smells delicious. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. Ah, oh, that's a lovely spot. Let's set up the picnic. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? But it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy! We have to give them some food! Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs> it's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Snowy Mountain. Looks fun. Oh, we could ice skate. That's fun too. Do you know how to ski? Miss Rabbit will give us skis to go down the mountain. Oh, a snowman! I love snowmen. We should build one ourselves. Peppa wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. This is the best snowman ever. We did it. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come! Daddy Pig? Didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. 
Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, a place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remember. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! You come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day. Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Definitely skip the second round. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Well, your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pool. Rock pool! Rock pool! And to the forest. You helped poor Titters the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> we got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>